Hey guys, my name's Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you care too, the subscribe button is somewhere. I haven't learned where it is yet. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the Loewe Paula's Ibiza capsule that just dropped today. So I'm filming today, I don't know when this is gonna come out, but I don't know, I thought it'd be fun. I've seen other channels do uh, looks at new Chanel, new other fashion-y whatever things, um, but I haven't seen people really take a look at Loewe, and I really like Loewe, and I hope there's people out there that do. And this is just a fun summertime collection. Ibiza or Ibiza is um, like one of the party capitals of the world. And it's just typically like a capsule collection of like fun summertime kinds of things. A lot of like natural fibers, uh, maybe like some skimpier clothes, stuff like that. I don't know, it's fun. But I am going to probably stick to the bags and the accessories just because if we went through the ready to wear, there's quite a lot, um, but let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat it says, our unisex capsule of Balearic summertime staples is here. Okay, first of all, it says that, and then right underneath it there's two links and it says men and women, and for me I'm like, I see the, the, the try and being inclusive, like I see that try, but also to put links to like men and women underneath it is like, like, really stupid so I don't know maybe next time but let's go let's scroll down let's just ignore that little bit and let's go down to bags oh they have it categorized in bags and baskets I'm gonna click on bags maybe it'll include the basket bags in there too so let's see ooh if you know me you know I'm a, a huge fan of the puzzle bag um, I love the shape um, there's a new take on it called the puzzle edge where the pieces of leather are kind of like run together and then the way that they're sewn makes an edge in that typical like puzzle shape, right? But then the interesting thing about this is that the way- oh my god, this website. <laughs> so as I'm scrolling through, uh, they put a, a video of a basket bag in the middle. So we're just gonna ignore that until we get down there. But this puzzle bag, I actually think it's like pretty cute. I already have like this size puzzle bag so I don't need to add one like this and it's not even like really my color but I love the degradé like it gives this kind of like ombre effect so it goes from this like like beigey cream to this like sage green oh that's actually very beautiful oh wow no I actually really do like that it's not for me because it's not my colors but I think if you like the puzzle bag and maybe you're on the lookout for one but you want something in an interesting color, and you love ombre, and you like the colors uh, <laughs> sage and beige, I think this is a great option for you. Let's see what else there is. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's like a lot of this degradé. I think that's kind of the interesting thing that they do. So they'll take like a certain motif and like do it on a couple of different bags. So the colorways are all pretty similar in that they have like the beige and the sage degradé, but then there's also a really nice coral and then a brown that turns into yellow. Not my thing, if it's yours, super cool. Oh, that's cute. So there's a, what is this? Oh my God, everyone's gonna know how old I am now. They have a small basket bag that's in palm leaf. So it's a different kind of texture than the typical basket bag. So this one's a little bit more flat. It looks like it's interwoven with leather, which I think is actually really beautiful. It kind of gives me like snakeskin in a way, just how it's like flat, it almost looks like scales and then it's uh, it goes from palm leaf to leather. Or maybe it's just like a dyed palm leaf. Oh, it is a dyed palm leaf, but still, I think that's beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is really interesting. So the bracelet pouch is a bag that they recently released. Uh, I think it was like just last year. And it's meant to be either worn as a bracelet and there's also a shoulder strap that you can use if you don't feel like wearing it as a bracelet. This capsule has a version of it that is in raffia 
and I think that's so cute. Oh my god. It's online, so you can kind of like see what's in there. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. The bracelet pouch is not really my thing. I do love their innovation in trying to make uh, a bag that is multi-wear, where you can wear it on your wrist, or hold it as a clutch, or use it as like a shoulder bag. I think that's so, I don't know, not cutting edge, because it's, it's just a bag, but like I think it's so, it's such an innovative way to think of like fashion and how it affects the body. Mm. Okay, I'm into that. I'm into that. Oh, they brought back the balloon ruffle. So that same like bucket bag shape, that's the balloon bag. But then instead of it being like leather and canvas or just leather, it's made out of uh, like a natural fiber. And then the way that it's woven it, they add like, it almost looks like you're adding like a peplum to the bag, which is like that little like frilly whatever that was like trendy in like the late tens. Okay, that's cute. I'm not clicking on it because it's not for me. Oh my god. So they have an elephant basket bag in raffia, but then, so there's no leather on this, and instead they've used a raffia that they dyed black, and then they like extended part of the weave to create the handles. Oh my god, it's so cute. And then they made the little elephant eye the like natural color. I, I do like the leather one, but then for me this adds a little bit more of that like craftsmanship where it's like you have to know how to construct a bag like this, like very specifically to be able to do this. Oh my god, I think I'm obsessed. <gasps> no. Oh, and it's it looks like it's the same size, but then it has like a little leather tie. <gasps> move on. I reacted crazy to that one first, but they also have one that's like like black and white stripes. I think that one's super cute, but it only comes in the small. For me personally, oh. However, the flamenco clutch comes in a striped raffia. This I find interesting. How do they even do that? Oh, interesting. So it's like they took the natural fiber and then created this like, you know, like the money sack that I kind of think that the flamenco just like looks like, but then they still use the calfskin flamenco knot and like the pole, and they wove it in and out of the natural fiber, like body. Oh, that's so interesting. And then it still comes with a strap. <gasps> no. It's so beachy though, because of the stripes. And it's unlined, so you still see the natural fiber even on the inside. Oh my God. They are doing some great things over there. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, they have the bracelet pouch in all black. Oh, wait, I actually kind of like that. Anagram. Oh, here we go. Here's something. I think I'm also like really interested in natural fibers because like it's starting to get a l it's not warm here at all. It actually got colder, but like spring, you can tell spring is on its way. And they have a small hammock bag in raffia and calfskin. So like the normal like flat part of the hammock bag is still calfskin, but then the sides are raffia with like leather detail on like the top of the flap. <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh my God. This is like a summer bag that doesn't look too summery. And I like that a lot. <gasps> I don't know. I, for me, it's also like, I don't understand how they figured out how to utilize natural fiber in the way that it's woven so that it like still fits the shape. I mean, duh, of course they have like expert artisans who like know how to do like whatever shape, like they have a freaking elephant, but still, I don't know. It's so, so impressive. And then there's like even like a little pattern on the side of it where it gives like this breathability to it. You can kind of see what's in it. I don't know, that's beautiful. I never really wanted a hammock bag, but that one's actually looking interesting. But I'm also like, it's warm for like two weeks here, like should I really be investing in <laughs> these kinds of bags unless it's like, I don't know. Hold on. Okay. I'm seeing three things immediately. So one of them is called the cactus pocket. So it's like this little like cactus flower with like 
I'm like, this whole time, all I've wanted to do is like flip the phone to show you guys, but I'm like, it, it, the image is gonna be up there. <laughs> so I need to just like chill. But it has like a little crossbody strap and then it has like a drawstring pouch inside of it. And then the, it looks like the cactus flower is kind of like holding it and like protecting it. <gasps> oh, that's cute. That's not crazy expensive, honestly. Oh, wow. And then the way that they like knotted the leather to act like the cactus spikes, that's, that's actually really funny. But then, okay, okay. And then they have a, I think they have a cactus mini pouch. So this is like kind of like a necklace in a way, not a necklace, but like a lanyard almost. Oh my God. This is cute. Ugh. Oh my God, it's so small. Uh. <laughs> Look at it. So they still did the same knotting of the leather to create those cactus spikes and then they cut the leather at an angle to really give it that like angular feel but then adding it to this little like it's like one of those ball cactuses but then you like wear it on a lanyard oh that's hilarious okay i have to take a step back oh no i like this okay this is absolutely not my style though so i'm probably not going to get it but they have a mini flamenco in a pleated textile and calfskin. What is this print even? I need to like scroll down. Is it like shells? I have no idea what this pattern is. Sorry to this man. But it's beautiful. It's a mini flamenco clutch in textile and calfskin, but the textile is pleated and it almost has, it's not quite like a sunburst pleat where like you get like the super swirly edges, but it does have a bit more of an edge. It kind of looks like a jellyfish. And then it still, of course, comes with a shoulder strap, so you can carry it that way. But I would probably never want to carry it that way. I would want to carry it from the bottom and be like, look at my jellyfish. That's the thing for me. Like, I feel like a lot of times when brands do little capsule collections, they're never really like super innovative. It's always just like, oh, here's a print or here's a bag that has like a little print on it or whatever. And like, I think sometimes like, it just feels kind of like a cash grab from them. But with this capsule, absolutely, it, they're putting in the work. And, oops, I lost it. But like, for me, it's crazy impressive how like they're actually creating new styles and things that I haven't seen them do before. To me, it's like, okay, it's gotta be new if I haven't seen it, because I'm kind of like obsessed with this brand. Okay, and that's kind of all I see from the bags. Let's take a look at the accessories. Oops, how do I do this? Oh god, okay, it's loading. Okay, first off, I'm seeing some sunglasses. They say flower sunglasses, but it kind of looks like the shape of palm leaves. Those are cute, those are fine. Heart sunglasses, where the lenses are hearts. I think you can kind of find that like at a boardwalk. Please don't hate me, but it's not like the most <gasps> interesting, but this is, what is a Pi Pi? Obviously it's like a fan, but like, what language is that? But it's a fan in palm. The handle's in wood and calfskin because it has like a little tassel on it. I would never buy this because like, I'll get a fan from somewhere else for cheaper, but like, that's so interesting. It's cute. I don't know. It's a fan. Oh. I just imagine myself like, it would have to be like a giant bag for me to fit it in here. But like pulling out a fan that has like low on and being like, oh, it's so hot. Um, of course they have the original sunglasses again. Crochet hat, crochet hat, that's not, mm, let's just pass over that. They have a little cowboy hat. Oh, <laughs> I think I just went through puberty, you guys. Watermelon cocktail charm in calfskin and brass. <gasps> okay, this is cute. Look at that. It has like a little leather, like, cut watermelon with a little, that, is that a plastic straw or glass? It's so clear, it has to be glass. But then why would you carry glass? Cause it's gonna break. Maybe it's, I don't know. And then it has a little like parasol attached to it as well. That's cute. Oh God. No, they're gonna make me spend my money on something stupid. And then there's a couple other charms. Scarves, that's a cute scarf. Huh. <laughs> I, I normally never support buying like luxury tech things even though I have my phone case. It's old and I got it on sale. But this is so cute. So this is an AirPod Pro case in the shape of a crab and it's made out of calfskin. So with the Loewe Spirited Away 
collab, they had a like Susu Watari AirPod Pro case, and I thought that was super cute. I had the opportunity to buy it, but then I was like, eh, who needs one? And now I'm like, I need one. But then they have a crab one. This one's really cute. Oh, I guess it comes with a strap, so you can also like wear it on around your neck if you're that kind of person. Oh my god. And it comes with like a little charm. This is so hilarious. So just like imagine you're like on the train, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna listen to music. And you pull out your crab and you just like snap him in half. Just kidding, he's okay. But yeah, I don't know. It would be like a fun little thing to have. I guess that's all this stuff is, right? So it's, it's just cool little fun things to have. Oh no! Once again, I wanna spend my money on something stupid. So they have a braided bottle in aluminum and calfskin. Aluminium. Oh, it is spelled aluminium. Oh my god. But it is a water bottle that has woven like black, white, red, and yellow leather. It's beautiful. Wow. It looks like a little basket. But then for me, it's like, what if it gets wet? What if the leather gets wet? That can't be good for it, right? I don't know. Like for me, like the arch tree is great, but then like if you can't use it anymore, why? Okay, so... <laughs> so, I think Loewe, I think it was a couple years ago, they went like mini viral by having like rocks with like leather knotted around them on sale. It is to showcase like a traditional Japanese craft of like just knotting, like Japanese knots. They are beautiful. But then I think like people are like, why would you buy like a rock with leather wrapped around it for like however many hundreds of dollars? So this one, they're calling it a paperweight. But it's a, it's a stone that's wrapped in like chartreuse leather and then have little like nubs on it and then it looks like a cactus. It's beautiful. You can see how much time the artisan put in doing this like very specific like nodding around it. It doesn't look too chunky or too empty in other places and then like the way that they wove the little nubbly cactus bits looks beautiful but <sighs> I'm not gonna spend like whatever, 500 bucks on a, on a paperweight, even if it is cute. But yeah, that's it. I don't know, I thought it was fun. I think in general, whenever Loewe does these little capsule collections, they're still very thoughtful. Like I said before, it doesn't feel necessarily as much like a cash grab because there is some design and there is a lot of artisanship that goes into artisanship. Is that a word? Artist, artistry. There's a lot of artistry and craftsmanship that goes into these pieces, even if it is just for like a summer capsule collection. I think in general, I, I like to wait because a lot of the stuff does end up going on sale. But if there is something that you like, like it's always nice to wear at that season, right? I think for me, the only thing that really caught my eye were the elephant bags. I think specifically the larger one in black. But then of course all these little trinkets, they're just so cute. I think Loewe does cute things very well and they know that, so they do it <laughs> quite often. But I don't know, we'll see if any of those end up making it into my collection. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you like really wanted from there or if maybe like the capsule collections aren't your favorite thing. But I love hearing from you guys. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time, I don't have a prop, so I'm gonna have to just dance or something.